page of every newspaper a few weeks ago. And now he's on the front cover of the latest edition of Vogue magazine, uh, along with the model Aju Uaboa. This month's theme is all about activists and campaigners for social justice. That image, and it's very striking, isn't it, uh, was shot by Miss Anne Harriman, who joins us along now with her Dr. Mina Alves, who also features in the issue oh, with her baby as well. I didn't know you had the baby there. That's so lovely. Um, thank you so much. Miss Anne, just tell us a little bit about this shoot, because it was special, wasn't it? It was special, but I just have to congratulate Mina, because um, <laughs> when I photographed her, she was... Uh, uh, due to have the baby so congratulations i have to say that. <laughs> well i can tell you and i'm looking at mina now that the baby looks looks well mina how are you doing um and how did you get involved um in this vogue shoot well it it all started back in march uh we were working as as doctors and healthcare workers in during the pandemic and we were concerned about our safety. Uh, we were concerned that we weren't being protected and we wanted to protect the public um, and be in that position to be able to, to serve the country during this pandemic. And we were escalating our concerns because we were worried that we didn't have the right protection. And we tried to escalate our concerns in, in the right way through the right routes um, and they just weren't being heard. And not only that, but we were also being silenced in our hospitals. And it was the, the death of nurse Mary Adjapong who passed away as she was a pregnant nurse and she left behind her newborn baby, her two-year-old son and her husband. And that broke my heart because the situation was completely avoidable. So from then on, uh, I've been campaigning and uh, for, for better protection for doctors, but also for to create a national conversation that doctors need to be protected and our welfare is very, very important. And then from there, uh, the lovely team at Vogue got in touch with me and, and I'm very grateful for the opportunities that, that uh, Edward Enenfo, um have provided and Miss Anne was, was great as well during the shoot. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, I kind of just, I mean, it is perfect in so many ways, isn't it? That you, you know, you had your daughter during lockdown and very much, as I understand it, the Vogue shoot and, and um, me saying you can pick up on that in just a moment, is all about the future. It's all about, you know, what happens next and, and the, the challenges spoke the, uh, across the joys of the future and what things should look like. Well, that that's what really played a, a big role. Um, my, my daughter sat on my lap now, but she was my biggest strength and she was my biggest inspiration. Um, and Miss Anna and I had this conversation as well during the shoot. And we, we spoke about what the future was going to look like and how important this movement is uh, with Black Lives Matter, with protection of healthcare workers. So our children in the future know that there are people in this world who will fight for justice and there are people in this world who will fight for the truth. And, and Miss Anne, that whole, the shoot was, a lot of it was about activism, wasn't it? And you, you were the, you're the first black male photographer, aren't you, to be on the, to take the cover shot, is that right? Yes, in the 104 year history of British Vogue, I am the first black male photographer to shoot any cover and I'm the first black person ever to shoot a September issue. Um, and I think what, what Edward, has orchestrated. I, I call it a symphony of activism because so many of the subjects I photographed are people that I am in absolute awe of. I mean, when when I saw Mina and you know I I, I had a uh, I had a child during lockdown as well, oh, wow. and and I I, I I just just was in awe really um, of her, and she was due to have a child within a week I think when I photographed her, and that's Mina's one example of the sorts of people that Edward has reached out to, to say, what you're doing matters. We see you, we hear you, and we're gonna use a platform that he has through British Vogue to make sure as many other people can understand. Also, Mina is a remarkable um, and honest reflection of a multicultural England, right? Um, that shows how good we are when we have diversity in this country. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm again, just very, very proud to have photographed her and have people like her be in the most important issue arguably ever of British Vogue. Yeah, Misa, we should say congratulations to you as well. And I'm yes. sorry, I didn't know that you had a baby as well. <laughs> so it's a joint yes. celebration. And just the name you, you keep mentioning, Edward, Edward Enifel, of course, who's the, the, the new editor of Vogue. And you, you are clearly seeing from your point of view, a real opportunity for someone in that position to make a real difference. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's one thing, you know, to have power is one thing, but to to use your influence to empower others 
is 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 uh, uh, it should be something that we all emulate. Edward has many had many options on who to put in the issue and who to should that should photograph it, and he picked me. And I hope wherever my my story goes, that I will also lift others up. You know, it's a trickle down effect, and uh, he's showing that. Um, in a way that I don't think has been seen before. He's only been there for, I think, three years, and he's repeatedly made history in his tenure, um, which which speaks a lot. Lovely to speak to you both this morning. You Lisa, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Mina Viz, lovely to see you and your beautiful young daughter as well. It's made her first, is it her first TV appearance? It is her first TV appearance. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Thank so you. Much. Good to, good to chat. Yeah. And the uh, September issue of British Vogue will be available from Friday.